This is where we take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be. Snoop Dogg and DMX faced off in a versus battle for the ages on Instagram Live last night. This was the best versus battle yet. DMX looked like he's seven months due, but it was great to see him on stage and not in jail. Snoop Dogg was a rail thin dancing machine next to him. They looked like a hip hop Abbott and Costello out there. I would love to see these two do a tour together once outside opens back up. But you know it ain't gonna happen because that's gonna be the loudest tour bus of all time in every sense of the word. I give it two shows before one of them gets arrested. DMX, before DMX gets arrested. In other news, according to authorities, John Cothcart, a fugitive of the week sought by US Marshal Service was found sleeping on a porch in New Hampshire. They must have run out of more elusive fugitives to feature. He must not have known that he was fugitive of the week or he would have taken a nap someplace indoors. There will not be a reboot of the fugitive franchise telling his story. What they don't show in that action movie is that running from the law is exhausting. Not that I know that from personal experience. And finally, Venice gondola tours are reducing the capacity on their boats thanks to too many overweight tourists, The Guardian reported on Tuesday. Imagine getting shamed in the middle of your romantic getaway. That romantic proposal is going to hit a little bit different after the gondolier asks your girlfriend how much she weighs in public. Leave it to Italy to serve the best pasta on earth and then turn around and call you fat. Stop making savory, delicious food and maybe we'll lose some weight. I mean, we won't, but we won't be quite as fat without all them cannolis. Let me know what you think of these stories using the hashtag GetUpDC and I'm going to send it over to the cannoli queen at WSA9, Miss Mary Marshall.